Hey Libra, welcome to Queen Abe and the Tarot. Today we're going to do your beginning of March general energy reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone is doing well. So when I was meditating over you guys, energy, the song that I heard was been around the world by Lisa Stanfield. I will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow on the reading if you so choose to. So the major message that I got, some of you guys are ready to settle down. You're looking for the one you are, you know, it, just like the song been around the world. Okay. It's like you guys have dated, you've had your fun, you've had your time to decide what you want and who you want in your life long term. And now a lot of you guys are ready. Now keep in mind, this is a general reading, not your love reading. Okay. Those will be, I think Sunday this week, I'll be doing it. Um, excuse me. And I, I feel like love is on the brain for a lot of you guys right now. Like that's a big focus for you all because you know that you've been through so many different things and you're just ready for companionship overall is what I'm getting. Now, when I was doing a pre-shuffle, I seen the major arcana, the, um, emperor. Okay. That's Aries energy. And then you guys had a lot of earthy energy too. So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, also um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. If you are single, you could have one of those elements showing up. And if you are dealing with someone already who is of that element, I feel like a lot of you guys are like, okay, when are we going to make something concrete? Also, just thinking about the hook of the song, been around the world and I, 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 I can't find my baby. I don't know when and I don't know where, where he's going away and I don't know where he get weak. My baby, that's the hook of the song. I'm saying he because that's what she says, this, but this can also apply to a female, okay? I mean, a male, I'm sorry. So, for some of y'all who are already coupled, you may feel like your partner has become distant, okay? And that could be a concern for you all because you're just kind of wondering like, okay, do I stay in this situation or do I leave? Because it just feels like we're not on the same page. Listen to the song if you don't know the song, okay? Because I feel like you'll connect energetically with the lyrics more as you hear this, hear the reading, as I go through the reading, if you listen to it after that, I feel like you'll get more messages, okay? <clears throat> so let's hold the deck down, change card at the top and the bottom. As always, you will, you guys know there's no reversals in either one of my decks. So if I get any reversals, once I start shuffling, I will read it as such. At the bottom of the deck, <laughs> some of you guys have a water sign possibly coming in, Cancer specifically. Also Pisces, Scorpio, but specifically Cancer. Now also... Mm. Been around the world. Nah, yeah, yeah. I can't find my baby. Somebody's coming towards you. I'm going to say it again. If you are single, you guys have somebody who is coming towards you quickly. And I feel like this person is meant to be on your path because this is major arcana. Anytime you have major arcana cards, that's something that the universe is orchestrating because it's meant to be on your path. It's, you're meant to be aligned with that. Also, if you are single, this new person could be coming in towards you during cancer season. Right up under it, you have the, yeah, the three of cups. Wow. So, you know, Three of Cups typically gives kind of a negative um, description or outlook. But the Three of Cups is also about celebration. So, uh, again, look at that. I feel like it's going to be something worth celebrating, possibly a cancer season for you all. And I know it may seem like that's far from now because that starts June. June, July is cancer season. But we are already in March. Okay? So, I feel like this is something positive. And if the universe is working behind the scenes. Again, Major Arcana Cards is the universe working behind the scenes for you to bring you this happiness. And I feel like it's connected to a water sign or during a water sign season for some of you guys, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shuffle the deck up right three times until we get the major account for your sign, which would be the justice card. We'll get the card that comes before, the card that comes after, and clarifiers for both, okay? So let's part the deck. Four of Pentacles, some of you guys may possibly be holding on to a earth sign or, some, or our earth sign is holding on to you. But Four of Pentacles for me is always holding on for dear life, refusing to relinquish your hold on something. Again, this could be you or a person. I always notice with this particular card, right? She's sitting outside on this bench. You have this castle behind her. Some of you all may be holding on to a relationship because of finances or someone may be holding on to you because of finances. Because I feel like this, either you or this person feels like if I get, move out of this relationship movement, I'll be out in the cold. Because again, notice she's outside. Again, it's a woman, but it applies to men also. You would know how this applies to your situation. 
So let's see what we get here for you guys today, Libra. Tower, yeah, something's coming down. <laughs> something's coming down. Again, there's a tower, something's coming down, and then she's outside of a building. So somebody, I'm feeling somebody either may be put out or has to decide to move out. Um, the tower is connected to Aries and also Scorpio energy. And keep in mind, I said I seen the major icon of the emperor earlier on. And that's Aries. And you got Aries again. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus <clears throat> placement. Wow. More major icon energy. So you have the star card, Aquarius energy, wish fulfillment and healing. Okay. Um, I feel like some type of healing is going to happen after some type of breakup or some type of breakdown of a situation or a living situation. Because I keep getting things with the home life. Something with the home life. Something with the home life is being uprooted. And it's going to catch you off guard or catch your person off guard. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what's up under here. Yep. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. So the song is been around the world. I can't find my baby. Okay. Here's the thing. Well, that's not the hook. That's not the name of the song. That's the hook. Look right here. There's a globe right here. World energy. And then the two of wands is someone needing to decide which direction they're going to go in. He's already looking out into the horizons. So again, I'm going to say some type of healing is going to happen. That's going to cause you or your person to move forward. But I'm really strongly picking up. Some of y'all may be healing from a fire sign. Again, Leo says Aries, Summer, Rising, Venus. Let's see what we get for you guys today. Again, we're looking for the Justice card. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, first let me show you this. Okay, so you have a Queen of Pentacles. King of Cups. <laughs> Death card. And then you have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so, so far you have two Queens and a King. And then right in between it, the death card. So there was an ending because of possible third party. You got two queens and they are both, look at this. They are both facing this king. Look at that. This king is sandwiched in between them. So there was an ending in the situation. More Scorpio energy again. Remember, we just have towers so of Scorpio energy. Um, yeah. And, and what's interesting is that you have this king of cups. And then right behind that. Yeah, the page cups. So some of you guys could have been dealing with a water sign who was a little immature, emotionally immature, and they put you in a third party situation. Okay. You got two queens here. You see that? And they are both facing this king. So I feel like you guys have, and again, this could be a female who did this to a male. If you're a male watching, somebody put you in a third party situation because they were emotionally immature. Because mm -hmm. look at what's right behind that. One, two, three. She's facing that three of cups. There was a third party situation. Remember early on, we had the three of cups. So yeah, there was a third party situation. One possibly involving, look at that, and then you have the king of wands. One possibly involving a um, water sign specifically. You had Scorpio twice. Mm, just seeing the queen of cups. So some of you guys are getting ready to walk away from a possible marriage, long-term commitment, engagement. Because remember, you know, you have the four of pentacles that holding on for dear life. For some of y'all, again, this situation really strongly involves finances. And this is why someone stayed into the situation. But I feel, and again, remember I was talking about how she was, she's outside of the castle. The castle was in the background. And remember you had a tower. So someone is either going to get put out of a place of um, residency or moving out, even though they may not have the finances to do so, or they feel they don't have the finances to do so. Okay, so you look at that. So far, we've got halfway through the deck. So I feel like this is, again, for me, whenever I get halfway through the deck before we get the major icon for your sign, it means this has been a situation that's been lingering or overlying for a while now, but now it's coming to a head. That's why you have the tower card, which is something happening unexpectedly because somebody has just been holding on to the situation. And I keep wanting to say Virgo. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Virgo. I have a very strong Virgo in your chart, but, or something could have happened in Virgo season, okay? Um, I feel like somebody's just been holding on to a situation and then the tower had to come down because the tower is like the universe sweeping in and saying, okay, it's time for us to level this whole situation out because it's not beneficial to you anymore. Okay. So in front of that, you, yep. Some of you guys is definitely dealing with a water sign. You got the ace of cups and right behind that. Wow. You have the, um, hair font and there's that chariot again. Wow. Okay. I also want to let you guys know the hair font, right? This is someone who is always a spouse, a companion, okay? 
This is someone who's partner. So again, you guys have, and look at what else wants to show itself. And there's cards up under here, right? Look at that. You have a knight in shining armor coming in, a water sign for some of you all. There you go. Look at that. They're fa he's facing the chariot. So I'm going to tell you, I feel like during a watery season, particularly cancer, you have new love coming in. Even if you're partner for some of you guys, especially if your relationship was on the rocks, you could be meeting someone in cancer season. I'm picking up June more so than July. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's some brand new, I'm telling you, there's some brand new love coming in that could possibly be a long-term companion. Because again, this is always a spouse. Male and female, this is always a companion, lifelong partnership. And it ties into what I was saying. Been around the world. I, 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 I can't find my baby. You don't have to find your baby because your baby's coming towards you. Looks like cancer season is going to be major for a lot of you guys. And this is going to be a big love. Look at these. Look at this energy together, Libra. This is going to be a big love for you guys. Okay. Um, you have Major Arcana, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the Ace of Cups. So let's get clarifiers for the Ace of Cups and the Hierophant. Bottom of the deck, the Page of Wands. Some of you guys may have been dealing with a um, fire sign, again, who was a little emotionally immature, who wasn't really offering much. They were also they pretty much focused on themselves or just focused on sexual liaisons is what I'm getting. Let's part the deck. You have the Eight of Pentacles working. Eight of Pentacles is actually putting in the work and building. Remember I kept saying I wanted to say Virgo. Some of you guys were dealing with a Virgo. Some of you guys are dealing with Virgo. Uh, August. Is it August, September? Mm-hmm. Uh, August. Virgo. For some of you all, it's going to be. Just seen the devil. Capricorn. Yeah. Someone, what did I just say? This person was focused on sexual. Look at how he's looking at the tip of the wand. And then I always tell you guys, that I knew I wasn't going crazy. I'm telling you, somebody that you were dealing with, okay, they were focused on um, sexual liaisons because I always say with this card, the tip of it literally looks like a penis head. And you see how this part, they have the wand in their hand. Now, the ace, ace is always gifts from the universe and always brand new stars, something new. But this definitely does look very phallic, you know, like an erection, literally. Like, and to have this right next to it, okay, I feel like some of you all, if you're in a relationship and you know, this only applies if you know that this relationship has pretty much run its course. I feel like you're getting ready to meet someone new in cancer season. That's what I'm getting. Ooh. Did I say I seen the emperor? Look at that. More Aries energy. Some of you guys may be letting the Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual go. Okay. Also, this could have been a cold, aloof, distant person. Okay. Because anytime you have a king or a queen in reverse, that's someone who has taken advantage of their power for the negative in a negative way. Also, always look at this in reverse. Look at the hand. Looks like the thumb down, right? So it's like someone's, you know, you're being told like this is not the one. Now, keep in mind, the emperor is the divine counterpart. Okay, whenever you see the emperor, the empress is never too far behind. So this may have been someone that you were married to, engaged to, or in a long-term relationship. They're saying that this king is not the right one for you. This is. So whoever this person was that you were with long-term at one point, it's like, mm -mm, they're telling you, no, this is not the one. And, okay, so going back to the song, like I said, some of you all are ready for companionship, long-term commitment. It's, it's definitely coming with this combination. But if you were thinking about reconciling with an ex, mm -mm, they're not the one. Brighter days, something better is coming in for you. Sun card is the most positive card in the whole entire deck of tarot. More fire energy. Just seeing the lover's card. Yeah, some of you guys have new love on the horizon. And I said June, and the lover's card is connected to Gemini. June is Gemini season also, okay? The end of Gemini season. So let's get a clarifier for the Ace of Cups for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Visuals. Clarifier for the Ace of Cups. You guys have love coming in. And again, I'm going to say, even if you're in a relationship, look at that. You guys seen it. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Even if you're in a relationship and you find out about some type of third party stuff, I feel like uh, it may hurt. It may be, uh, you know, something painful, but you have something brand new coming in, though. And remember, I seen we seen a star card that's wish fulfillment and healing, possibly healing from a third party situation. And remember, I kept seeing something about Virgo. You got Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. It's coming up in reverse. I would say with this card specifically, also look how this person has this contract here. 
that could be a marriage contract, a marriage certificate, something like that. It's in reverse, okay? So it's like this situation could be done as something brand new because aces are always something brand new, gifts from the universe, okay? Something is ending with someone that you may have been married or engaged to and something brand new is coming in for you is what I'm getting. I keep wanting to say Virgo. Someone's dealing with a Virgo or you have strong Virgo placements in your chart. Um, You have the death card, more Scorpio energy. Right after I said that, and this is your clarifier, okay? So someone's putting the ending to a relationship. Also, Scorpio, okay, that's cup. So there could have been ending to a marriage or a long-term relationship, possibly in October, I'm getting also, okay? Let's get a clarifier for the hair. Fine for Libra. Someone rise and Venus individuals. Let's get a clarifier for the hair. Fine. Mm. Okay, you have look. That's how I flip down, and you have one on the floor. <laughs> that's the page of um page of wands again on the floor. You guys know I don't pick up cards from the floor, so I'm gonna pick up exactly how it is. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, eight of pentacles. Okay, wow. So this person from the past is not working out with because, again, the Eight of Pentacles is actually putting in the work. Again, if it's a Virgo specifically, they're saying that you're going to need to choose a different direction because it's not working with this person, okay? Also, I'm getting that you may decide that you're not going to put in the work because you see how they're facing each other. You may choose not to put in the work with these people with this past person because you know that something new is on the way. It's like some of you all could just feel it, that something new is on the way because keep in mind, Major, major arcana trumps any card that it comes with, right? So again, the two of wands about needing to choose a direction to go in. I feel like some of you all are like, I'm not going back. You're turning your back on the past because you know that something new is coming in for you. This is someone who's going to be a long-term companion. I'm telling you with this combination, this is someone who's going to be a long-term companion. You're not going to want to miss out on this because this is going to be exactly what it is that you wanted. Also looking at these two clarifiers at the bottom like this, Gives me the vibe that some of you guys may may have turned your back on love because it didn't work out the first time. Don't let that be the case because you have something amazing in the long-term department coming towards you, Libra. Okay? So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visuals as always. I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.